A retraction thread is a dental tool used to pull the gums, gingiva, away from the tooth neck in order to enable a more clearly demarcated imprint. Here you can see a tooth with a thread. The retraction thread consists of woven or twisted cotton threads of different widths. The thread is usually soaked in or reinforced by some solution which causes constriction of blood vessels, adrenaline, or is hemostatic, such as aluminum chloride, sulfate, hexachloride, or hexahydrate. A thread is drawn into the sulcus before a tooth is cut. The sulcus is what holds the tooth and gums together. Once the gums have been pushed aside, the tooth can be cut without any damage to the gums. Without a thread, the gums can be damaged, as shown here in the animation. A second thread is drawn after cutting. Why two threads? The following film and animation will explain. Here you can see an imprint of a tooth. The technician pours plaster into it, which provides a plaster model of your tooth. The technician prepares the denture based on this model, and the denture should seal tightly around the edges. The preparation edges of the cut should be clearly visible to the technician, meaning that the cast material should be able to flow freely to the edges of the cut. The second thread spreads the gums apart, and if it is removed shortly before the imprint is taken, the cast material can capture the form of the tooth edges. The animation shows a scoop filled with cast material which is placed over the cut tooth stump. On the right you can see what happens when threads are used. The cast material is able to flow around the preparation edges which become clearly visible. On the left you can see what happens if no threads are used. The imprint is removed from the mouth and plaster, shown in beige, is poured into it. The imprint on the left does not correspond to the actual form of the treated tooth stump. The cast material could not flow to the edges, and the technician prepares a faulty denture without meaning to. Sometimes dentists use retraction pastes, which are injected directly into the gums. They fulfill the same function as the threads and are rinsed out shortly before the imprint is taken. If any of the paste remains, it can react chemically with the cast material, which can result in warping. This can lead to a denture which does not seal tightly.